Okay guys, so in this video we are going to have a look at implementing our first story, so let's get into it. So basically we pick the create landing page card here, and basically all we're going to do here is that we're going to create a landing page, easy peasy. So let's have a look at what we've done so far. So we've added a server file, we've added a few dependency to our package JSON here. And we've added our application file, and basically all we're going to do is that we're going to send up a static file, which we can find here, and that's about it really. So if we start this server, we do some manual testing and stuff of this nature, and we go to our local host here, here is our amazing application, and there is a button here that we can click and all that good stuff. Now if this was a more, like, um, we made a way off when we see that there's not much need for doing more testing than this like there's no real logic or anything like that so there's no reason for us to write unit tests or anything like that it doesn't really make much sense so we feel that we're pretty much done with this so what we're gonna do now is that we are going to create it what we call a feature brand so I'm gonna do a thing like this and we're gonna do landing page like that and you see now that I have switched over to a separate branch called landing page and if I go and do git status you'll see here that I have a bunch of changes here that I want to add and that basically is going to be added like this I am a landing page ideally you want to give it a better name than this but since I don't really I it's just me I'm just gonna add this in like this and then I'm gonna have to set my upstream which is basically going to connect to my remote repository where in, in this case it's going to be github and now I have pushed my separate branch and the reason why I want to create this separate branch like this is because I want to branch off from the master branch which is the branch that we are going to release where the like ideally the mentality you're going to go for is that the master branch should always be in a releasable state you should always be able to ship that if into production if that is needed that code should always work and when we're multiple people working on the same product you don't want people to directly push new changes to master all the time you want to create a separate branch or a so what we call a feature branch or a story branch work on that implement your feature do all your testing and do all the validation make sure that everything works and once you are certain that that code works, then you merge that back into master. So as you can see here, we, we kind of did that. So now we've pushed this branch. And if we go to my GitHub account here, we will see that there is a new branch, which is called landing page. So I can do a compare and a pull request. And I will simply say state that added, uh, added landing page. And that's about it really. I will create a pull request for this. And a pull request is just me basically stating that, hey, I made some changes, I want somebody to take a look at that. And there's only one commit, and if we look at file changes here, we will see the diff, which is basically all the changes that we have made. So now we feel that this is pretty much done. Let's uh, move that over to code review. Now I'm putting on my coworker hat here and this is kind of where the Kanban board mentality comes in. It may differ in your area, like wherever you work, but a strategy that I like to use and my, me and my coworkers use is that we work from right to left. Now what that means is basically that if you just finish up your work or you know the problem is that if you want to go through all of these steps and especially since some of these steps actually require you to have other people helping you out it's a very it's a nice thing it's a very considerate thing if anybody who sits down on at their laptop or like their workstation and they're going to start working to start looking to the right of the board first because the closer something is to the right the more like the further along that process as it is and since you're working as a t as working as a team if you help your coworker they're going to help you so I, as another person, now see here that it, there I could have started working here, but I see here to the right is Frederick, and he has put up creating a landing page as a code review. So I will pick this story up, and I will go through his code review. And here we can see that this, like, okay, so he has added a package lock file. 
don't really need to look at that I feel I feel I think he's knows, knows what he's doing and here I see that there's a new dependency for Express and I see that there's a new file here server.js and I see that everything seems to be in order with the app he's sending up a static file that's great and here is the HTML cool so I feel that yeah I, I can approve this like uh, this this feels pretty good to me and there are no real comments to be added here I mean depending on your processes I might add a comment here saying that hey this looks good and I'm actually gonna do that it's very nice it's a nice approach to uh, like uh, let's see here CR done stands CR stands for code review well at least at my job that does create landing page let's move that to ready for testing because I feel that this is like the code review was fine there wasn't anything to complain about and now this is ready for testing and either I as the person who just did the code review I'm going to pick this up or somebody else will pick it up it kind of depends on who is most appropriate to do it but in this case it's just me so I'm going to pick this up and I'm gonna put that into testing now what I would do now is basically that I would go to my local workstation like this and I would go and basically go and do a GC or a git checkout for the landing page branch. I already have it because it's local, so I don't really have to get it from the remote. But I would check out my coworkers branch and I would simply run the code and then I would have a look at what the actual description of this feature is and start the application and just do some basic testing to make sure that everything works. And I mean, I, you already saw me do that, so we don't really have to do that. So what we can then do is that we can say, hey, this looks good and put it into ready to be merged. We can basically just say testing done. We thought that this was good. So now what we can do is that we can tell Frederick or whoever implemented this, this other person, that, hey, you can merge this. And depending on your strategy, either that person is responsible themselves or somebody else is responsible for merging things in. But in this case, it's fine if we just do it ourselves. So we will just cl click merge and then we will simply confirm the merge. We don't have to make it more sophisticated than that. So if we now go to our code here, we will see that, hey, we have a bunch of new files. Which is pretty great, right? I, uh, we could have actually... Let's actually remove this uh, branch as well because it doesn't like uh, we have active branches and stuff like this. We don't want to have too many branches, so we can might as well just do that. So if we now go back, we will see here that we, I still have the branch locally. If I go and do and git check out from master, we will see that if I now do a git pull, you see that my files actually changed. The master branch hasn't been updated in my local environment. But if I now do a git pull, I'm going to get the latest changes. And here we are. Now master is actually updated. And that's also a very good general rule of thumb that whenever you release, so whenever you change something in master, before you start working on the next story, always make sure that you merge, uh, you pull master first so that you have the latest changes before you start a new branch because it's important that they, you know, ideally you want to be as close to master as at all times as possible. And if we go and look at git branch, we'll see that I still have the landing page branch and since I want things to be a little bit clean, I will simply do this. Uh, landing page so I would remove my local branch and yeah this is official now my changes that I implemented in this story was there they have been merged and that means that we are done with with this story now we can depending on our strategy at the company we can uh, uh, we don't have a release strategy for this little tutorial series of mine but if we did we could simply inform whoever is responsible for releasing our code into production that master has now been updated and we are ready to release this new awesome feature to our to our users so and that makes it now we're free to start on the next thing and since there's nothing else going on there this should be as simple as simple as just picking up the next card so we're gonna look at that in the next video